Breaking news, Ubuntu is used all over the world. Well, if that's the case, why is the world still blue? All right, welcome back to another Total OS Today. During last night's uh, live show, you may have, uh, those of you who watched, you might recall I... I stated a little piece of Ubuntu news that it takes about the average install time for Ubuntu is 18 minutes. Well, that's part of a much larger report that was just released, and we're going to take a look at that right now. So this is from the uh, blog Ubuntu.com. Those of you who use Ubuntu 18.04 are well aware that Canonical is going to collect, is collecting, telemetry um, about what system you use on how to install or what you use to install Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver. Uh, somewhat controversial. This is an uh, opt-in or opt-out function as you please and they are using this tool to better understand its user base and to make Ubuntu uh, better to benefit all of us and that is up to you to decide if that is the correct thing to do. At this point in time, uh, I don't have a problem with that considering what the other mm, 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 uh, operating company, OS company is doing and you know who I mean, it is not based on Linux. Alright, so this is from, this was posted yesterday, again this is blog, mm, blog.ubuntu.com I should have had my coffee but let's move on. Briefly, we first announced our intention to ask users to provide basic, not personally identifiable system data back in February. Since then, the built-in Ubuntu report tool uh, has been integrated into Ubuntu LT.04 LTS setup tool. I'll, um, let's take a look at this, just a quick snapshot here. Again, it's pretty basic. It says here, yes, send system info to Canonical. No, don't send system info. Now, I would have thought a majority of people would have clicked no. Did they? We're going to find out in a second. All right, let's scroll down. All right, so at first, uh, at first login, users were asked if they would like to send information, gathered, and preview that data if they wish. Uh, Ubuntu was asking for this data in order to build a better picture about the user base. Uh, with this data, they can understand typical hardware setups and ensure that they are aligned with that hardware. Uh, we also get good insight into which translations are most important. All of this means that decisions we make for Ubuntu Desktop will benefit all our users. They are committed to making this public. The team is working uh, best ways, are working best ways to present the data and ensure that the information is safe and anonymous. Our web team will then implement those designs on a public website. It looks like uh, this work is scheduled to be completed during the Ubuntu 18.10. I believe it's called Cosmic Cuttlefish, something like that. All right, let's move on. Uh, one last thing here. This, uh, this data is only for Ubuntu desktop installs. Opt-in rate. Well, a majority decided to opt in to this new feature function for Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, 67%. The average installation, average install of Ubuntu desktop takes 18 minutes. Some machines out there can install a full desktop in less than 8 minutes. That is surprising with Ubuntu, considering it is not a fast operating system. All right, first in fresh installs versus upgrades. Hmm. All right, well, the number of people upgrading an existing Ubuntu installation is about a quarter of those who are installing 18.04 from scratch. Okay, so that is probably not surprising. Installer option, uh, downloading updates while installing, installing restricted add-ons, auto, auto login, 28% uh, as you see here. So definitely, I would, uh, especially if you are new to all this, definitely choose to install updates download updates while you are installing. Now it says here, another interesting fact is that the newly introduced minimum install option is being used by over 15% of users. That is surprising considering it says here that of course it is a brand new option. 
CPU count. A single CPU is most common. Disk partitioning schemes. All right, well, over 50%, 53.80% erase and install. Uh, I was looking at the uh, install alongside, such as a dual boot, only 7%. This tells me, I think, that Windows 10 users don't care for uh, Ubuntu. That's just speculation on my part. I could be completely wrong. Okay, display full HD is the most popular screen resolution, 1080p, followed by 1366 by 768. Uh, a few people are using multiple graphics cards. Uh, this could be for a machine, uh, for machine learning, cryptocurrency, or gaming. A single monitor is far and away the most common setup, RAM. Well, in my opinion, you need at least 4 gigs of RAM to run this thing comfortably. Uh, it looks like 4 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of RAM are the most common. People are installing with a gig of RAM. Oh my goodness, you really need to cut back on that drinking. Whoo! So, <laughs> anyway, Ubuntu is used all over the world. You know, this is... Well, it just goes to show that in spite of all the uh, complaining... Um, I don't know how else to say it, and concern about Ubuntu, about the telemetry and the heavy resources. It is still being used all over the world in spite of all that. I just wish it was faster. Anyway, uh, let's see here. This data is based on the time zone selection and installation and not on IP address geocoding. They do not store IP addresses. The U.S. has the biggest concentration. But this could be skewed by people using the defaults during installation. Hmm. Never thought about that. Brazil, India, China, and Russia are also big users of Ubuntu. Da, comrade. And we have users literally all over the globe in every country. Okay. And that's it for this report. Uh, take it as you wish. A little bit surprising, uh, most of it probably not surprising. I will have a link for this uh, below in the show notes. Let me know what you guys think, but uh, you know, hopefully Ubuntu will get better uh, in terms of resource usage. It is a bit heavy. I do have installed one of my test laptops. It is definitely stable, and I will recommend any stable operating system at least to try, at least to try. The best way is with a spare machine. Uh, if you don't have a spare machine, uh, my second personal favorite way to test is with a USB bootable stick. And of course, you can use a virtual box if you so choose to. Well, that's it for this report on the report for the Ubuntu 18.04 telemetry uh, review. If you have any questions or comments, uh, post them below, of course, in the comments section. We may talk about this more in a future uh, live show. I don't know when that will be, but uh, definitely a lot more to talk about this report just released. And uh, I'll uh, see you on the next uh, show, possibly. So take care and have a good one.